What's going on guys? I have a pair of Parts Shop Max rear lower control arms here and I wanted to take the time to make this video to explain and illustrate some of the concepts that are hard to explain when these are already installed on the car. Most of the concepts I'll be explaining can be applied to other suspension arms on the vehicle, basically anything that uses this turnbuckle style system to be adjusted. So the turnbuckle style means that we have two rods here that can extend and retract for adjustment. But one of these rods is reverse threaded so that both of these rods can extend and retract at the same time when utilizing the turnbuckle. To demonstrate this, we're going to have both ends of the lower control arm stationary. And then we're going to adjust from this adjustment rod or turnbuckle, whatever you want to call it. And that's basically going to show that both ends are extending at the same time when turned this way. And both ends are going to be retracted at the same time when turning it the opposite way. And the reason we need to have both ends of the lower control arm stationary is that basically emulates how it's going to be sitting on the car. So with the left end is not going to be spinning at all. The rod end is not going to be spinning at all. All we're going to have while it's on the car is this adjustment rod. With all that being said, I just wanted to show some things that you should do or keep in mind before you even go to install these on the car itself. One thing that you can do is put NICs on these threads, so later on down the line, if you need to break these loose or adjust them in any way, they'll be able to spin a lot more freely, and you won't have to overcome that seizing and corrosion that's going to occur over time. Once you do have these adjusted and installed on the car, you have a few things in place that are going to ensure that this alignment setting doesn't change from driving or whatever. So you have the jam nuts here, which almost every suspension arm uses. Uh, jam nuts that will lock the rods in place so that they don't rotate at all when driving. And then since Parts Shop Max makes a lot of parts for heavy driving and drifting, they actually have this locking mechanism redundancy of having this bolt and nut here which will tighten around this large rod to prevent it from spinning. And we also have an Allen screw here for the small rod to prevent it from spinning. These control arms also use a rigid spherical bushing and the ends of these bushings are actually removable. So you wanna make sure that before you install these or if you're going to transport these or anything, you wanna zip tie this or like they have here a twist tie around these bushings so that these ends don't fall out and you don't lose them because if they don't have them on there then the bushing ends can just fall out like that. And then obviously you're going to remove that when you go to install it on the car. Another thing you should do before installing is something I like to call zeroing the arm which is where you actually back off uh, both of the jam nuts and ensure both of these rods are fully retracted so that when you do go to retract them you can uh, make sure that they extend simultaneously and that the lengths of them match. This is uh, especially important for things like toe arms so that you can utilize the maximum adjustability that those arms have to offer. This will also make it easier to set up both sides of the car so that they are matching. And now that both of these arms are zeroed, uh, we're able to extend these rods simultaneously and we'll be able to have an easier time matching the other side before we go and install them on the car.